want to add a drop-down list to Google Sheets, I'll show you two different ways to do so. Let's start out by adding our drop-down based on a list of items exactly here. So we're going to select that range, head over to data, data validation. And then we have to choose the criteria of list of items. And here you can write in whatever text you want to and separate the separate items with a comma, just like I am not started work in progress done. And I want to reject the input and show the following text when someone types in something that is not in that list. Let's apply this. So we just head over here and say not started. And so we're choosing from our drop down list. And now we're simulating someone just typing something random. There you go. It will not accept that value. It will um, reject that input. And now we're heading over into the range. So here we want to say that we have separate drop downs or separate items from a drop down, but it's from a range. So I have another data sheet prepared here with these three values. And these three values are the ones that should be available. So we're showing a warning and the same validation text. So we won't reject. We'll just show a warning when someone chooses something wrong. There you go. So here's our drop down with the values. And what happens if I, let's say, amend this, if I change this, will that reflect in our drop down? You see the warning invalid. Why? Because the valid text now is work in progress. There you go. Now, how about we want to remove this validation? How will we do that? Again, we head over to data validation and there is our validation. And now we simply say, remove the validation. It keeps the values, but no more drop downs. Can I ask you for a favor? If you find this channel and the videos on it helpful, could you please share this with your network, with your friends, colleagues, managers, and so on. And before you leave, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any of our videos.